This is your AT&T modem router, and this is what it looks like. This is the front of it. Flip it over on the side, and you're going to see AT&T U-verse. Attention, this device does not include backup battery. Okay, we get that. And then up here on this one side, which if when you're when the front of the tower is facing you, it'll be on the left side. You're going to find your Wi-Fi network name, AT&T Yucks, <laughs> and then you're going to find the model. <laughs> and then here's your Wi-Fi password. I only get 20 megabytes upload. So anyway, that's going to be right on the on this side. I'm covered. That's not really my, you know, password and my network name, but I'm just doing it for grins and giggles. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's look at the back of it. At the very, if you have a if you have a AT&T Uverse, you can have a phone on here, which you would plug in here. Uh, this is the broadband, which we don't have. And down here are three different Ethernet ports, which you could put landlines in. And uh, a LAN, A-L-A-N, looks like this, right? And these can go to routers or other devices, like your computer. Like you could hardwire this directly to the back of the computer, which I'm going to show you how to do that. And then next, you've got a USB port. And this is a traditional USB port. And I have some external hard drives. So if I wanted to share information from this hard drive, which is extensive, it has four terabytes, with the network, I could just plug it right in there. And then this hard drive which could share all that information over the network. So that's kind of like... Uh, one way that you can use uh, these USB ports on here. This uh, green port here, they make it green so you don't screw up. That's your DSL broadband. And you're gonna notice that my broadband line is green. But you're also gonna notice it's like a traditional phone line, you know, attachment on the end. Like if you look at it in comparison to a landline, you'll see the difference. So you can't really screw these up. They're two different sizes, you see that? See, this one's one size, and this one's much larger. So this comes right out of, uh, yeah, I've got it fed down here, and then here's where it comes in at. So it's, you know, like your traditional phone thing. AT&T really hasn't figured stuff out yet. I wish they would. But this goes in here, and I run this line up. So it's hardwired all the way in. And um, let's go back. <laughs> All right, so here we are back at our AT&T universe. So I'm going to show you how to set this thing up. Um, again, you got phone line, you've got your broadband, Ethernet ports, USB, there's your DSL, and this is the reset button here. So if something goes wrong, you can reset it just by pressing that. and basically just turns it on and off. There's also a cable line, an uh, inline here, which is interesting. I've never, I, don't, I don't use this because we don't have any kind of cable coming in, but you know, there, there must be some uh, application for this. Uh, and then on the very bottom is your power. All right, so let's take a look at the power. I've already plugged it in here on a surge protector, and I kind of bundle my wires up so they don't get out everywhere. And if you look over here, you can have a little light. That light tells you it's ready to go. So all you do is you take your power right here, and it's one of those traditional old-style power deals. See that? Then you just have to go right in there. I'm going to push it against the wall because i got one hand filming and one hand doing. And pop. It pops right in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your DSL. All right. And you can see how it goes. This part's kind of out. So you've got to kind of push it in there like that. And it'll just snap in. Watch. Bam. Done. And then you're going to take your, uh, your LAN uh, to one of your Ether ports your ethernet ports. Now it can go any one you want, it doesn't matter. But I'm just gonna shove it right in there. And just gonna kinda push it in. There you go. It makes a little click. And then I've gotta put it in the back of my computer. And um, so you gotta find the port that it goes in. And so I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna pull the computer out a little bit. Twist it. So down here, on the back of the computer is your port right there. You can tell because it's the biggest one. These are uh, USB-Cs. 
these are USBs, and this is your card input on the computer. So what you do with this is you just kind of slide it in there like that. You just slide it in and makes a click, and now you've connected it to the computer. So now we're all set up. That's it. That's all you have to do to get the thing going. You got your power, you got your DSL, and your Ethernet. Now, if you had a router, you could connect your router here also. All right. So now, once you get established, you're gonna your your uh, network's gonna show up on your computer, AT&T Yucks, and then you you know for all your devices, this is gonna be your password. So all your devices will see this when you go to Wi-Fi. Right, and then you just have to put your password in, and your password and your Wi-Fi and your model and all that stuff is on the left side when AT&T is facing this direction. Now we just have to wait for this thing, all these things to turn green, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll with our AT&T modem, router, whatever you want to call it. And um, AT&T does not get very good, uh, um, consistent. Uh, you know, I mean, I get like 20 to 30 megabytes download and maybe three to five uploads. So it's not very good. This thing's not very good. But, you know, what are you going to do? You, you don't have a lot of choices in Delray Beach. You got Comcast, which I couldn't get them to put the, put it in here. And then the only one I could do is AT&T. And this is 50 bucks, which is kind of a ripoff. I'm hoping the T-Mobile, they start to build their... Uh, their uh, infrastructure and I'll be able to use this thing that I bought but for for now I've got to stick with this stupid thing all right so as you can see we're starting to get our uh, green lights popping up but this takes a while because um, it doesn't just happen right away it takes probably about 10 minutes for this thing to, to, to work all right so you're gonna see power Ethernet Wi-Fi broadband one and service and that means you're ready to rock and roll. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on stuff like this. Peace out.